At UFC 308, the highly anticipated middleweight showdown between Robert Whitaker and Kamet Cham delivered an intense and brief encounter. Both fighters entered the bout with well-established skills. Whitaker, the former middleweight champion, brought elite striking and a well-rounded defense, while Cham, the rising powerhouse, showcased dominant wrestling and relentless physicality. The matchup promised a clash of styles, Whitaker's technical approach against Cham's aggressive, grappling-focused arsenal. As the fight began, it quickly became evident that Cham's wrestling would dictate the flow, leading to a decisive submission victory in just one round. The first round saw Whitaker adopt a strategic approach, aiming to set the pace with his signature low kicks. These early kicks were intended to keep Cham at bay and potentially weaken his legs, limiting his explosive wrestling shots. However, Jemaya wasted no time in imposing his grappling game, almost immediately shooting for a powerful takedown. Utilizing his impressive speed and strength, Cham closed the distance and dragged Whitaker to the mat, signaling the start of a grueling ground battle that would ultimately decide the fight's outcome. Once on the ground, Chimaya's skill and physicality became evident. He quickly took Whitaker's back, establishing control over the former champion, who is typically difficult to keep grounded. Whitaker is renowned for his impressive scrambling ability and resilience against top grapplers, but Chimaya's strength and balance neutralized any attempts Whitaker made to regain his footing. Each time Whitaker attempted to stand, Chimaya effectively rode him, maintaining constant pressure and preventing any escape. This relentless control underscored Jemiah's mastery in the grappling department, particularly in his back control and ability to anticipate Whitaker's movements during these exchanges. Jemiah also demonstrated his ability to improve his position further by nearly mounting Whitaker's back. His quick transitions were on full display as he tried to secure both hooks, aiming for a dominant position. Whitaker managed to scramble out of danger momentarily, but Chimaya's lightning-fast reflexes and relentless pursuit thwarted Whitaker's escape attempts. This ability to immediately respond to Whitaker's movements and keep the pressure on highlighted Chimaya's elite grappling skills and physical prowess, which are quickly becoming his trademarks in the UFC. Chimaya's control wasn't purely positional, he also began to mix in strikes to soften up Whitaker, adding another layer of threat to his ground game. While these punches were not particularly powerful, they served to keep Whitaker defensive, preventing him from fully focusing on escaping or reversing the position. Chimaya's ground and pound was measured, allowing him to maintain control without sacrificing his positioning. This calculated approach kept Whitaker's attention divided, wearing him down mentally and physically as the round progressed. As the round advanced, Chimaya saw an opportunity to transition to a submission. Positioning himself behind Whitaker, he attempted a rear naked choke, a technique he has used effectively in previous fights. Sensing the danger, Whitaker displayed his fight IQ and experience by defending against the choke, rolling and adjusting his posture to make it difficult for Chimaya to fully secure the hold. However, Chamaya's grappling expertise was evident in his ability to transition from the rear naked choke attempt to a neck crank, placing immense pressure on Whitaker's jaw and neck. This neck and jaw crank proved to be the breaking point. Despite Whitaker's reputation for toughness and resilience, he could not withstand the intense pressure and was forced to tap out at 334 in the first round. Shemaya's submission was a clear statement of his grappling prowess and his ability to dominate elite fighters in the division, even those as skilled and experienced as Whitaker. The fight highlighted key differences between the two fighters' styles and approaches. Whitaker's typical reliance on striking and well-rounded defense was overpowered by Shemaya's single-minded focus on grappling dominance. While Whitaker's footwork and striking are among the best in the division, he had limited opportunities to showcase these skills due to Chimaya's relentless pressure and speed. Chimaya's ability to close the distance so quickly rendered Whitaker's striking game plan largely ineffective, forcing the former champion to play defense from the moment the fight hit the ground. 
Shemaya's performance serves as a reminder of the threat he poses to anyone in the middleweight division. His physicality, combined with his elite wrestling, makes him a formidable opponent for any fighter, regardless of their skill set. The fight underscored the gap between Shemaya's grappling and the grappling defense of even the most accomplished fighters. Whitaker, typically known for his strong takedown defense, struggled to keep up with Chamaya's relentless pace and control on the ground. Moreover, Chamaya's victory raises questions about potential future matchups in the middleweight division. His impressive win over a former champion like Whitaker solidifies his standing as a serious contender and suggests that he may be ready for a title shot. Chamaya's ability to dominate a fighter of Whitaker's caliber indicates that he could pose a significant challenge to reigning champions, particularly those without a grappling background strong enough to counter his wrestling. Chamaya's submission victory also highlighted his ability to finish fights decisively, making him a dangerous opponent who can win by either grinding down opponents or securing submissions when the opportunity arises. In contrast, Whitaker's loss is a setback but also a learning opportunity. Despite his well-rounded skill set, the fight showed that Whitaker's defensive grappling may need further refinement if he intends to stay competitive against the elite wrestlers like Chamaya. Although Whitaker has proven himself against various styles throughout his career, this fight revealed a vulnerability to high-level grappling pressure particularly against physically imposing fighters who can maintain control on the ground. Whitaker's adaptability and intelligence as a fighter will likely drive him to address these areas in future training camps, as he remains one of the top competitors in the division. This matchup ultimately highlighted the impact of styles in MMA and how different strengths can create unique challenges for even the most seasoned fighters. Shemaya's win showcases the dominance that a wrestling-heavy approach can bring to a fight, especially when combined with the physical attributes and grappling acumen that he possesses. Whitaker's struggles against Shemaya's style indicate that elite wrestling, when executed with precision and aggression, can neutralize even the most skilled strikers. Looking ahead, Shemaya's victory sets him up for a potential title shot. As he continues to prove himself against top-tier middleweights, his grappling prowess and adaptability make him a difficult challenge for anyone in the division. With his undefeated record still intact, Shemaya is poised to be a serious threat to the middleweight champion, whether it be Israel Adesanya or another contender. His relentless approach and ability to control the fight from the opening bell have made him a standout figure in the UFC and this victory only adds to his growing reputation. In conclusion, the UFC 308 bout between Robert Whitaker and Kamet Cham was a showcase of Chimaya's grappling mastery and relentless approach. The fight demonstrated the effectiveness of Chimaya's wrestling against one of the most well-rounded fighters in the division, cementing his status as a top contender. Whitaker's loss, while disappointing, provides valuable insights into areas for improvement, particularly in dealing with high-level grappling pressure. The fight served as a reminder of the importance of style matchups in MMA and set the stage for Chamaya to potentially challenge for the middleweight title in the near future. As the middleweight division evolves, Chamaya's emergence as a dominant grappler with physical prowess highlights the critical role that wrestling and grappling play in modern MMA. Fighters and coaches will undoubtedly take note of Chamaya's success, emphasizing the need for well-rounded skill sets that can adapt to various fighting styles. For Whitaker, this fight is a catalyst for growth pushing him to enhance his grappling defense and strategize more effectively against wrestlers of Chamaya's caliber. The implications of this fight extend beyond the immediate matchup, influencing future strategies and preparations within the division. Chamaya's ability to impose his wrestling game plan from the outset demonstrates the importance of controlling the fight's pace and position. His seamless transition between grappling and striking, while maintaining dominance on the ground, exemplifies the kind of versatility and determination that can propel a fighter to championship status. For fans and analysts alike, the Whitaker vs. Cham fight underscores the dynamic nature of MMA 
where adaptability and comprehensive skill development are paramount. Chamaya's performance not only secures his position as a formidable contender, but also ignites excitement for upcoming middleweight matchups that promise to be just as thrilling and strategically complex. As the UFC continues to showcase such high-caliber fights, the middleweight division stands out as a battleground where technique, strategy, and physicality intersect, creating memorable and impactful moments in the sport. Shemaya's victory at UFC 308 is a testament to his dedication and skill, setting the stage for what could be a remarkable rise to the pinnacle of the middleweight class.